Photo gates, uh, like this one, can be used to measure the movement of an object. Uh, in this case, we're going to be looking at an object in free fall, and it's this picket fence. And the way a photo gate operates is there's a set of LEDs and detector. Tilt this down a little bit, and so you see there's a gap in there. And if an object blocks the beam, then um, you get the, the little red lights there. If I block both, I get both of those. And uh, so for this experiment, um, the picket fence was dropped through there, and you could measure the, um, the velocity, the displacement, and whatnot. And uh, so that's what we'll do here. So i uh, show you how it's collected. So I have it connected here to my iPad. And if I hit collect, I'm going to drop this on there. That. And now if I stop that, and I come and I zoom into the data, I end up with a line here. To make mine look like the data that we have here, uh, at least for the velocity side, I can come here and make this uh, just points. There we go. Do that one, so we end up with that one. Now, to determine the acceleration due to gravity, uh, I would like to find the slope of the velocity time graph. Uh, to do this, um, the, for my data set here, it's the, the graph for velocity is the one at the bottom. And so if I come here and apply a curve fit to that, um, I end up with a graph here from their data set. Uh, the slope here is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. So that uh, um, should be about right. And uh, so again, photo gates allow you to measure um, motion, in this case, an object in free fall.